Hi and welcome to this lecture in our HubSpot free course. In this lecture, we're going to tackle HubSpot lists. HubSpot lists serve different purposes. Sometimes you might want to create lists because you want to send people a marketing email or, you know, because you need lists for reporting purposes, automation purposes, and so on. Lists serve different purposes and that's why we're going to talk about this really important topic here in this lecture. So a list is basically a way of gathering a group of contacts that meet specific criteria. So in this lecture, you're going to learn about about different types of lists that exist and how you create them, right? What kind of filters you're going to use to create these different types of lists. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and let's talk a little bit about lists. We touched on the topic in a previous lecture. It's important to know how to create HubSpot lists because you use lists in different locations inside HubSpot. You use lists inside marketing emails. You can also use lists inside workflows, reporting, and other places. So let's learn how to create lists. A list is, well, I don't think I have to explain what a list is, right? It's essentially a way of gathering contacts that meet specific criteria that you have. So you're going to navigate to CRM lists and you're going to click on the option create list. Here you have to define what kind of object you're talking about. Are you gathering contacts? Are you gathering companies? Are you gathering deals or anything else? In this case, I want to send them a marketing email. So it's a contact based. It's a list for contacts, right? It's a list composed of contacts that I have in my CRM, people, individuals that I have in my CRM. The next step is to add a name to the list. I'm just going to um, add the following name, list for marketing email. Um, strawberry ice cream promo, something like that. I would say the more descriptive your name, the better, just because, you know, sometimes it's it's common that you end up with a huge backlog of lists and, and you're looking back and you don't know what each list really means. <laughs> so I would recommend you to go ahead and give them proper names. Description is option. What kind of list are you creating? Active or static? Look, an active list is a list that HubSpot updates automatically and a static list is a list that HubSpot doesn't update automatically. I will create a list based on all my contacts that meet the following criteria. They like strawberry ice cream. I have a property in my CRM that I created and this property indicates that they, you know, they, they just simply like strawberry ice cream. So that's the email that I'm sending right here, right? Promoting my, my strawberry ice cream. So I wanna create a list of people that are interested in the product strawberry ice cream, right? And so in this case here, the list is actually based on a property. It on you know on a, on a value inside a property that I have inside HubSpot and so I can go ahead with an active list and what this what this would mean is that I'll create my list now let's say I end up with four contacts something like that they meet that criteria right they are interested in strawberry ice cream if next week ten new contacts get added to my CRM and these ten new contacts they are also interested in strawberry ice cream well HubSpot will automatically add these ten new contacts to my list a static list doesn't change a static list is simply a representation of your data in that day and time. A static list doesn't change. It will be created and it will always stay the same until you delete that list. Okay, so this is totally optional here. When it comes to marketing emails, this decision doesn't quite matter too much. When you are creating lists for reporting purposes, for example, typically you end up creating active lists more often because you want HubSpot to keep updating that list, right, with the contacts that meet that specific criteria. For example, let's say I create an active list called Called founders in the United States okay and so the list will be based on two properties right the property job title and the property location and um, if I want HubSpot to keep on adding new contacts as they join this list that's essentially what I'm doing I'm, I'm creating an active list so that I get that reporting accurately right I get the exact number of founders that are based in the United States next I'm going to add the filter and the filter will be based on a contact property in this case I have a property inside HubSpot called favorite ice cream flavor. And so what I'm doing here is I'm selecting that, you know, they like strawberry. So the value strawberry is inside the property favorite ice cream flavor for my contacts. As soon as I create my list, my contacts will appear here. I will click on save list. And from that moment onwards, I can use this list inside my marketing emails and anywhere else I want. Okay, this is how you create lists inside HubSpot. Just so that you know, you also have the option to create lists based on other things as well. You can create lists based on people that interacted with specific ads, people that interacted with specific calls to action, people that interacted with specific emails or forms or marketing campaigns and so on. So lists are not necessarily based on contacts, uh, sorry, on, on properties. Properties, but you know, creating a list based on contact properties is definitely the easiest way of getting started with lists. 
Awesome, so in this lecture, you learned how to create HubSpot lists. This is a really important aspect of using the HubSpot CRM in a way that suits your business needs. In the next lecture, we're going to change topics a little bit and we're going to talk about a topic that will be really, really interesting to marketing professionals watching this video, which is HubSpot forms. Okay, so the same way, you know, we have our email list sitting inside the CRM, we have our database there. Well, the idea is that we keep on growing our database, right? One of the methods you can use to grow your email list is by using forms. Websites typically have forms. Most websites have at least a contact us form, right? You can also work with newsletter forms, get a quote forms and so on. Forms are a great method for doing lead capture. And this is what we're going to talk about in the next lecture here in this course. As always, don't forget that all the lectures that are part of this HubSpot free course are inside a dedicated playlist here in my channel. Oh,